In today's video, I'm just going to show you how we can draw ourselves a rectangle using the total module in Python. Now to get started today, you'll need to open up your Python editor and create a new file. Once you've created a new file, add in the first line of code that we usually do when working with the turtle, which is from turtle, import star. Now what that is saying is we need, oh, we're going to import all of the functions from the turtle library or the turtle module. So you've got access to all the different features of turtle. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simply draw a straight line across the page that is 300 pixels in length. So we're going to move our turtle forward 300 pixels. We're then going to turn our turtle on the spot at an angle of 90 degrees to the right. And once we've turned around 90 degrees, we're going to go forward again. And this time we're going to go 150 pixels. We're then going to turn right 90 degrees one more time. Now that's half a rectangle drawn there. Okay, we've gone forward 300 pixels. That's going across the top of the rectangle. We then turn right 90 degrees and then go down the page at 150 pixels and then turn right again 90 pixels degrees. Well, let me save that and show you what that has created so far. Okay, so I've gone across 300 pixels and down 150 pixels and you can see our little turtle there is facing to the left, ready to go back and finish this rectangle off. So the quick way to do it is just repeat this code that we've already written. So you can highlight it, press Ctrl C to copy, go beneath it, press Ctrl V to paste. Okay, and if we give that a run, you'll see that you get a completed rectangle. Okay, it looks good. One thing you can do, though, to save a few lines of code is actually undo those four lines we just put in. Okay, and we're going to use a for loop instead. To do that, we just write for i in range, and we tell the computer how many times we want to repeat this code. And in this case, it's just two times. We put a colon. Um, at the end and then we highlight those four lines of code that we've already written and press tab that will just indent them from the edge of the page and what that's basically saying is we're going to repeat these four lines of code that have been indented two times okay and if I run that now you'll see that we get the same result um, a perfect rectangle okay so that's two different ways there that you can create a rectangle it's up to you what you prefer to do but I'd go with the loop it's less code which will mean your program runs out a little bit quicker. Now something else you can do to this rectangle is fill it in with a color. So to do that you need to pick a fill color first of all. So I'm going to go and write color and put red inside brackets in quotation marks. That means I want to color this rectangle red. Now to get it colored in you need to call up a function called begin fill. That goes just before the loop and that's basically saying we're going to start to fill in any shape that is drawn beneath begin fill. As long as the lines all close up, then we're going to fill that shape in with the color red. Okay, now to get that fill working, you also need to go to the end of your code and write end fill. We need to call up that end fill function just to say that we're finished filling in that particular shape. And if you give that a run now, you can see that it's already red and you get your red rectangle. Something else that you might like to do is change the word color here to fill color instead. And what that will do is we'll still color the rectangle in red, but it will also put a black border on your shape, as you can see like that. So that doesn't look too bad either. And the last line of code is just to hide this little um, turtle icon here. So at the very bottom, just write hide turtle, open and close the brackets. And you'll see that after we draw the rectangle, the turtle disappears. Okay, so that is how you draw yourself a rectangle using Python's turtle module.